Yeah. Welcome back. Well, as Plymouth Argyle prepare to face Steve Bruce's Birmingham City on Saturday, it was a case of what might have been on Tuesday. After winning at Crystal Palace thanks to Nick Chadwick's goal last weekend, there was a real air of expectancy at home park for the visit of Ipswich Town. But fans dreaming of a sustained promotion challenge were left a little frustrated. Billy Clark with the early opportunity to get the cross in. Oh, McCormick lost the ball almost and needed a good challenge in the end from Dumbe. Matt Richards to fire it in towards the near post. Oh, it's been flicked into the net. Well, there was a whole host of bodies in there and I think it's Sylvain Legwinski who got the final touch. Less than a minute gone and Argyle find themselves a goal down. Paul Watley's going to let fly from here. Oh, he's hit the underside of the bar and come down. And Argyle almost back on level terms. Absolutely stunning free kick from Paul Watton. Supple was beaten. Watton has already hit the bar from a free kick. It's going to be Bazaki to strike it this time, and he forces a fine save out of Shane Supple. Capaldi then. Tailing it towards the far post, and the ball is in there. No doubt about it this time, and it's a header from Paul Watton. Well, Capaldi got it right this time with the corner, drifted towards the far post, and Paul Watton, who rarely gets a goal with his head, rising to force the ball into the roof of the net. Watton with the throw this time for Chadwick. Connolly will keep it in. Oh, he's got away from Harding here. Connolly in towards Ebanks Blake and a little back heel just getting caught up behind him. And Harding running into trouble and then taking Norris's legs from under him. And Dan Harding is going to be in trouble here. That could be a straight red. I don't know how the referee is going to view this one. Just a yellow card, and I think Dan Harding is a little lucky then. Capaldi with the throw. And Barry Hales. Back for Capaldi. Dink towards Samba on the far post. Now Samba went down, referee waving away the penalty appeals, which I think, in fairness, came mainly from the crowd. Now Connolly. Hales looking for space to turn. He's found David Norris looking to drive it across towards Samba. Ball somehow scraping past the post. Now Barry Hales. And he wriggled through a gap that shouldn't have been there. He was pulled back by Vilnius, who could well go off here. Well, Vilnius has already been booked. It's a second yellow. And the Dutchman is sent off. Well, he looks a little nonplussed, but... No doubting that he deliberately pulled Barry Hales back then. The referee deeming that that was a yellow card offence. Watton looking for Paul Connolly, who's made a great run on the far side in towards Hales. Oh! Couldn't get a touch. Good break from Argyle again. And still the pressure is on. Watton looking for Connolly once more. This time Richards up with the header. The danger is cleared away for the time being, at least. We played very well and we didn't get all three points. That's what we got to do. We got to turn that into wins. And you don't get wins if you defend like that from a set piece in the first two minutes. So that blotted our copybook because after that we had a mountain to climb and boy did we start to climb that mountain. Um, but just very, very disappointed that we haven't taken all three points because if ever there was a, um, a performance from a home team that deserved three points, it was tonight.